Adenosis coli is a common condition often found incidentally on endoscopy and affects the colon and rectum. It has no symptoms and it is caused by deposition of pigment in macrophages in the lamina propria. The colour of the mucosa in melanosis coli may vary from pale grey to brown or almost black. But an interesting feature is that lymphoid aggregates or lymphoid follicles, adenomatous polyps and carcinomas are spared and not pigmented. And here is a great example of melanosis coli. The mucosa is so deeply pigmented it is almost black but you can see that there are a number of polyps and these are not affected by the pigmentation elsewhere in the mucosa. And elsewhere in the same piece of colon is a carcinoma coming into view and again the carcinoma is not pigmented. The histological feature of melanosis coli is the presence of granular pigment in macrophages anywhere in the lamina propria. And the pigment is composed predominantly of lipofuscin, but melanin, bile pigment and hemosiderin have also been found in cases of melanosis coli. And here between the normal gland crypts in the lamina propria are macrophages containing this brown granular pigment. The pathogenesis of melanosis coli is actually quite interesting. It is caused by increased epithelial cell turnover and apoptosis of damaged epithelial mucosal cells. The most common type of damage is caused by use of laxatives containing anthraquinone and these include senna and aloe vera. In addition, conditions such as chronic colitis and granulomatous disease may be associated with the development of melanosis coli. And the apoptotic bodies are scavenged by macrophages where they are broken down into the pigmented granules in the cytoplasm. And here is another colonic biopsy showing very florid melanosis coli with macrophages containing abundant granular brown pigment.